Hey friends, welcome to this awesome video. So today in this video, we're gonna be talking all about how to open and unlock your third eye. This is one of the top questions that I get asked as a psychic medium, as an intuitive mentor, and I'm gonna be going through all of my top 10 juicy tips for exactly how you can start unlocking your third eye today. So let's get into it. All right, so number one top tip I like to refer to as time and space. And when I say time and space, I mean time and space for meditation and for connecting inward with yourself. One of the biggest struggles that I see people having when unlocking their psychic gifts is that they just don't devote the necessary time and energy to allowing themselves to be able to open up their gifts. And it's just like any skill, right? Like playing basketball or riding a bike, you have to practice it, you have to work that muscle. So devoting 10, 15, 20 minutes a day to that time and space, that meditation practice, to learn to quiet your mind and connect inwards is so valuable for opening up your third eye. When you're first getting started, I really recommend just using those few moments for mindfulness meditation specifically. Meaning you're not focusing on anything in particular, you are just allowing yourself a few moments to sit and quiet and breathe, connect to your breath and just go inwards. This will really help you to quiet your mind and will really help you to get into those deeper brainwave states that you need to be in in order to receive psychic information and guidance from your spirit guides. So carving out those 10, 15 minutes every single day, I like to call it uh, connection time, is going to be crucial for opening up your third eye. All right, moving into tip number two that goes off of what I was just saying about time and space and connecting and meditation is about asking your spirit guides for help. Now, in another video, I'm going to be talking about all about spirit guides, how they can help you, how you can start working with them and cultivating relationships with them. When you're ready to start opening up your third eye, set the intention by asking your spirit guides for help with the third eye opening process. This is so, so, so important because it's going to allow your spirit guides permission into your energy field to help you and to get start giving you that intuitive guidance. So working with your spirit guides in that daily connection time. So after you have a consistent meditation practice where you're going inwards, you're connecting with yourself. Now you want to start calling in your spirit guides into that space, just setting the intention, saying, spirit guides, I give you permission to connect with me during this time, and I'm ready to receive intuitive guidance from you, and then asking them specific questions and just seeing what information comes through. Make sure to write it all down because some messages that you might receive in the moment might not make sense right there, but they might make sense to you later. So writing things down is really, really important. Which leads into my next step, number three, which is all about intention setting. So when you're working to open up your third eye, your chakra of psychic guidance, you are going to want to use intention setting for absolutely everything in your life. So before you meditate, during your meditation time, set an intention that you are ready to receive intuitive guidance, that you're ready to receive psychic guidance. And setting this meditation is going to, or setting this intention is going to make your meditation so much more powerful because there is an extra frequency of energy behind it. I'm going to be talking all about energetics in a future video, but setting an intention before your connection time, before talking to your spirit guides is going to help you so much with the third eye opening process 
process. So when you start working with your spirit guides and you start asking, you start getting more comfortable developing this relationship, you're going to want to set specific intentions to receive specific guidance from them. Sometimes if every single day, the only question we're asking is, what do I need to know in this moment? And we're not really getting a whole lot. Maybe our spirit guides are saying, we love you. And you want something that's a little bit, which is amazing, but you want something that's a little bit more specific, set the intention by asking that specific question so that the guidance you receive is more directed. This is absolutely crucial. And you can use intention setting with everything before you go out and exercise, set an intention before you leave for work for the day, set an intention before you get in your car, set an intention because it is going to allow the flow of energy to move so much more smoothly and it's going to really create a beautiful frequency for ever, whatever it is that you are about to do for the day. So intention setting is so crucial. All right, now we're going to be talking a little bit about vibration. So we all have an energetic frequency, an energetic vibration. And raising our vibration is so important because it allows us to begin to become energetic matches, magnetic matches for that which we desire. So in order to start opening up your gifts more, it, we need to begin to raise our vibration. Why is this so important? It's because our spirit guides source our divine creator, and any beings of light, angels, aliens, any other type of beings that we want to communicate with vibrate at a higher frequency than we do as humans. So humans vibrate at a much denser, lower frequency. So when we connect to our spirit guides, we have to be able to raise our energetic vibration to meet them because we will be raising our vibration as much as we can as humans and our spirit guides are going to lower their vibration so that they can meet us halfway. So raising our vibration is an absolutely crucial step in this process. So that's what my step number four is, making sure to do work to raise your vibration. I'm going to be talking more about that in other videos. But my tip number five, some basics for how to raise your vibration, include some everyday ways that you can start to raise your vibration on a day-to-day -day basis, which is going to make it much easier for your spirit guides to be able to communicate and speak with you. So how can we raise our vibration? Some simple tips here. Eating a high vibe diet is really crucial. So when I say high vibe diet, I mean whole foods, fruits and vegetables, and non-processed food sources because these foods vibrate at a higher frequency than our denser processed sugar heavy foods. Eating that high vibe diet of whole foods allows you to raise your frequency because the food that you consume actually affects your energetic vibration. And so eating foods of a higher vibration allows you to raise your vibration with it. So really focusing on those whole foods, eating fruits and vegetables, and I personally don't eat a totally vegan diet. I try to eat pretty plant-based plant most of the time, but I do occasionally have meat. So if you are still, eat, if you eat a meat-based diet, that is absolutely okay. It is still possible to do work as a psychic medium, as an intuitive, without eating a fully vegan diet. And I'll be talking more about the nutrition of intuition in a future video. So raising your vibration by eating a high vibe diet is really important. Another way that you can raise your vibration is by incorporating some conscious movement and exercise into your day-to-day -day life. So getting off the couch and doing a little bit of stretching, going for a walk, maybe incorporating yoga or some other types of flowy exercise is going to be wonderful and so great for this process because they allow us to lighten up our physical body, which can help us to raise our vibration, raise our energetic frequency. So moving into number six, this also has to do with raising our vibration. 
reading books and consuming content that expand your consciousness and being more conscious of the information that you're consuming. So for example, the local daily and national news is an example of a very heavy, dense, low frequency type of content. So by consuming that type of content really frequently, you are really lowering your energetic frequency. So instead, be more mindful about what you're consuming. I'm not saying, you know, watching the news or the media all the time is terrible for you. But what I am saying is just to be more mindful of the content that you're consuming, how it makes you feel. If something makes you feel fearful and anxious and stressed out, that is lowering your energetic vibration. So turning back to movies that make you laugh and feel lighthearted is a great type of content to consume. Or watching documentaries that really excite you and expand your mind, another great way. Reading books that really take you out of your comfort zone and excite you and really invigorate you, another great way. Listening to music that lightens your spirits and makes you want to dance is another great way. And also looking out for types of content that challenge your beliefs in a way that really expand your mind and expand your perception. Because when we're learning to open up our third eye, we're learning to expand our consciousness. So looking at content um, watching videos or documentaries or reading books and social media content that allows us to expand our viewpoints, learn more, learn more about the world and the universe is a really great way of opening up and expanding our consciousness. And that's really going to help you out with opening up your third eye. Okay, I think I'm on number seven. <laughs> so number seven here is... Surrounding yourself with high vibe people. So this is, again, going back to raising your vibration. So if you have a lot of people in your life who cause you really a lot of stress, who pull you down, who really overload you with a lot of emotional burdens and baggage, those people are also going to weigh down your energetic frequency. It just is how it is. We all influence the frequencies of everybody else around us. So just be mindful of this. Maybe you want to set up some boundaries between you and the people in your life that might be causing you stress. Maybe you want to limit the amount of time you spend with them. Maybe you, you want to be mindful of where you are spending your time. Maybe on the weekends you spend time with a friend who really just unloads their stress on you. Maybe you want to spend less weekends with that friend. Maybe you want to let go of some friendships that are really dragging you down. And instead, filling your cup with people who inspire you, excite you, motivate you, and really challenge you to grow and expand your consciousness. Again, like I was saying before, we live in this incredible world now where we can reach so many people via social media. I have so many high vibe, spiritually minded friends from social media, from connecting online. So just because you don't have a friend around the corner from you that has the same spiritual interests as you doesn't mean they're impossible to find and doesn't mean you won't be able to make friends in the spiritual community. There's so many of us out here, myself included, who are excited and looking forward to connect with you. So having those high vibe friends and really setting boundaries with those people who do drag you down is going to really influence your vibration and make it easier to connect. Another reason why, for, let me give you an example. If you have a friend who does unload their stress bur or burdens on you and you're about to go in for your meditation practice of the day, it's going to be really hard for you to connect in if you have all of this stuff, this baggage that's weighing on your mind, or you want to give your friend advice, or you're thinking about their situation. It's going to make it really challenging for you to connect and go inwards. So just another thing to keep in mind, that also goes along with the content that you're consuming. If you're watching the news and then trying to meditate, good luck. <laughs> it might not be the easiest thing for you to do. So so making sure that you are being mindful about what the content you're consuming and the people you surround yourself with to raise your vibration is going to allow you to open your third eye so quickly and so easily. Okay, next we have number eight. <laughs> um, I think we're on number, yeah, we're on number eight. Okay, number eight. Using intuitive tools. So this is one of my absolute favorite things that I really love working with my clients on is 
finding intuitive tools that really you connect with. So things like working with crystals, developing a crystal collection, working with oracle cards or tarot cards is a great way to open your intuition and open your third eye. Working with pendulums is another fantastic way to open your third eye. Um, and all of these really great intuitive tools help you to connect with your spirit guides, with your higher self, with your soul. So it's so important to begin to use intuitive tools when you're working through the psychic development process, through this opening your third eye process, because they are going to allow you to go that much deeper with your gifts. So I will definitely leave some of my recommended Oracle card decks in the description box. There's so many good ones out there. But what I would just recommend to you is hopping on Amazon and looking at Oracle card decks and just picking one that you're drawn to. Don't read the description too much. Just order it and see how the deck feels to you because you are always intuitively and divinely led to the things that you need to receive. So I'm going to be talking all about Oracle cards in a, another video. Okay, so now we're on to number nine, energy healing. So receiving energy healing is a fantastic way to open up your third eye because the energy healer is able to unblock your third eye chakra as much as you're able to receive in that moment. It's a really great way to just speed up that process a little bit faster to allow your third eye to open up and release itself. So I am actually a quantum energy healer. I have a beautiful healing practice called Galactic Star Healing that I offer. So this is one thing we can work on together within, the, within that energetic container. I can focus on your third eye and using my energy healing techniques and technology to help you with that process of opening up that, that third eye chakra. Now remember, you're never gonna be given more than you can handle. So your third eye will be open to the extent that you can handle in that moment. So when receiving energy healing, it's not going to be like a full light switch where all of a sudden you're going to be bombarded with intense psychic information and energy from other people and so forth. No, don't worry about that. Your third eye will only be opened to the point that feels comfortable, joyous, and expansive to you without feeling uncomfortable in any way. So super important information to note about that. And then finally, tip number 10, my favorite tip of them all, which is to work with an intuitive mentor, with a psychic development coach, because this is a really in-depth process that also requires some healing work along the way. There are fears that are going to come up for you around using your psychic gifts. Maybe there are fears, some fears from childhood or from a past life that might exist. So working with a mentor can help you to work around all of those different things that might start to come up and help you work through them. Everyone's gifts are completely unique. Your gifts are just like a fingerprint. They're so unique to you. So working with a mentor to help you uncover that uniqueness and really dive into what your specific gifts are is going to be so, so powerful. It's also just wonderful to have a person to connect with or a group container to be able to have those spiritual energetic connections with other people. I did the majority of my psychic development work on my own, which is really challenging because it can get a little bit lonely when you are having these awesome psychic experiences and you don't have others to share them with. So working with a mentor is a really fabulous way to get that beautiful one-on-one -on -one support and time. And as I'm filming this video, I am currently enrolling for my Cosmic Kickstarter Psychic Development Group Coaching Program. I'll leave the link for that in the description box. It's eight weeks and we dive all in on opening your third eye, unlocking your psychic gifts and your intuition. Um, if you're watching this and the program is not open, no worries, just Pay attention to my social media for the next time that it does become available, but we can always talk about opening your third eye in a one-on-one -on -one session or in an energy healing session. All right, I would love to do a quick meditation with you guys before this video is over with to start the third eye unlocking process right here, right now, and you can use this meditation in your daily meditation practice. So, 
I want you to be in a comfortable seated position or lying down and I want you to close your eyes and face your palms upward in your lap and we're going to begin by taking in some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth <sighs> taking a deep breath in through the nose breathing in love and light and breathing out through the mouth <sighs> exhaling any tension and stress from the day breathing in through the nose Breathing in love and light and breathing out through the mouth. <sighs> breathing out any stress from the day. And I'll, I want you to call to your attention that spot in between your eyebrows. That beautiful third eye chakra area of your forehead. And just allow your attention to rest on this area for a moment. Just noticing it, feeling comfortable with it. Now I want you to visualize that there is this beautiful sparkly white column of light that's beaming down from the heavens, from source, moving through the ceiling or roof of the place that you're in. And moving through your third eye chakra, that third eye space in the middle of your forehead. Allowing this light to penetrate every cell and facet of this third eye chakra. And we're going to allow this healing white light to cleanse away any blocks or barriers that might be keeping our third eye closed. Continuing to breathe, feeling so comfortable and relaxed as this process continues. And now we're just going to sit for a moment with this beautiful white light flowing through our third eye chakra and just see what comes up for you. Maybe you're seeing different colors right now in your mind's eye. Maybe. You're seeing images, flashes of images. Maybe you're hearing words. Or maybe you're noticing a pulsating in your forehead space. Tingling, hot or cold flashes. Maybe you're not feeling anything at all and that's totally okay. Whatever you're feeling or seeing in this moment is perfectly right for you. And now that we've received our third eye activations and upgrades, we're going to thank Source and thank our spirit guides for facilitating this beautiful experience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And whenever you're ready, you can begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and come back into the room. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And that's a beautiful meditation that you can do any time that you are connecting and meditation meeting with your spirit guides and knowing and setting that intention like we were talking about earlier to receive energetic upgrades and activations in your third eye to allow for the opening process to continue. So, so cool. I absolutely love it. One more important thing to note, because we'll be talking about psychic gifts in a future get video, your third eye is also known as your mind's eye. So when you are seeing visual pictures or when you're using your third eye, you will receive pictures in your mind's eye. If I were to tell you to visualize an apple right now and you see it in your mind's eye, that's the same thing as using your third eye. So let that little mind blower carry with you through the rest of the day and start to see where you're picking up some psychic guidance, where you are starting to receive information from your spirit guides. I can't wait to hear how this process goes for you. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment if this helped you and let me know what type of content you want to hear and see about on this channel. Sending so much love and light, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.